friends, today we are going to draw a cute potted cactus. So what you'll do, you'll grab your pencil, you'll grab your pen, your marker, whatever you're going to draw with. Um, and you can also grab a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, you can grab a notepad of some sort. Even a little one would do. So let's get started. So I'm going to not use a straight edge to start drawing the bottom of my pot, but if you need to use one, please do. We're gonna start right here towards the bottom of the page, right in the middle. And we're going to draw just a, I guess you can say a medium sized line. So right here in the middle, just gonna draw that. And if you're freehanding it, not using a straight edge, it's okay if it's not perfect. If your line isn't perfect, that's okay. Art is not perfect. There are no mistakes in art, as I always say. I'm just gonna make that a little bit longer, like so. And pots are curved. The bottoms of pots are curved around, so to get that, we're gonna need to curve the ends of the of this line so like you can start right here before drawing the line just go ahead and get your curve on the ends like so the next we're going to take these two we're going to take them up we're going to draw a line that goes up for the sides of our pot so we'll take this one up and it can go out as far as you'd like it can be you know, it could go in further, it can go out further. This is your pot, have fun, make it your own. I'm just here to help guide you with making your own potted cactus. And sometimes I start my lines from the top, sometimes I start them from the bottom. And that is, that's just two different ways that you can draw your lines. Um, Whatever is comfortable for you. For the top of our plant, or our pot, I'm sorry, you want to just make sure that they're as even as possible. They don't, again, they don't have to be perfect. But what you can do, you just take your straight edge, any straight edge, and just make sure that they're about even. If they're not, you could just draw a little bit more to your line. And then for the top of the pot, there's gonna be a line that goes right across. But we're not going to stop just at these points. We're gonna go a little beyond. So let's say we'll bring it out to about right about here right about there so that's where our the top part of our our pot will go and this time I'll go ahead and use a straight edge just to show you the difference or just to show you how to do that I'll take my straight edge either from this side or here I want to make sure you guys can see that and you'll just try to try to line it up as best as possible. And you just take that line from one dot to the next, like so. And it's smudged a little bit because I'm using a marker. And again, the same with this line. We're gonna curve the ends again to go up. We want this part to be curved. And this, the lines for the side of the top of the pot are not gonna be as long as this one. They're gonna be a little shorter. So, let's take this up just a little bit more. Let's say right about there. And then, I think right about there for that side. That, this side looks a little bit taller, but again, I wanna make sure they're about even. So, that looks about, let's bring it up just a smudge. Right about there. So. Our pot is taking shape, it's looking good. So from here, actually let's bring it up a little bit more. I want it, I want mine to be a little bit higher. And the top of your pot, it can be as high as you'd like, it could be as wide as you like, it could be as thin as you'd like. Um, remember, this is your, your work of art. Have fun with it, make it your own. And let's see, right about there. So again, the, the points of this line are going to curve. So here we're going to go ahead and connect these two points. Again, you can freehand it if you'd like. And it's not hard. 
if you don't want to use an edge you can either like how I'm doing just gradually bring it across gradually bring it across gradually bring it across to the end and there you go and now for the fun part we're gonna add our cactus to it so a cactus cactuses are various shapes and sizes um, we're just gonna do a simple roundabout cactus today and we'll put a little flower at the top so all you need to do we're going to start not necessarily at this line right here we're gonna start just in so just imagine this is your your cactus is going on the inside of this pot we don't want to take the cactus to the very t end here because the pot technically is not there that's just the top of the pot the pot where the inside of the cactus would go starts here and here so we want to put the cactus in between these lines right so let's just say we'll, we'll start our cactus right about here and we're going to end it right about we can do the same on this side right about here we're going to take this up and we're going to curve it start curving it start curving it right about there and we're and you'll just leave the middle empty we're going to draw a flower right there and again we're going to take this line let's say we want our flower to be maybe about that size and if it's if it's larger than that that's fine and we're going to start here and go here and curve it over and if this line goes a little bit past where I marked it, that's perfectly fine. Right there. And so now we're gonna add to that. We're gonna add our flower. We're gonna put a flower right here. Some cactuses have cute little flowers at the top. So that's what we're gonna add here. We're gonna make this a cute cactus. So right here, what we'll do is, so taking this point, we're going to go up take that up and you can kind of if you want you can find the center of your cactus which for mine would be eh, let's see you don't have to use a ruler if you just want to kind of eye it yourself let's see the middle of my cactus is right about there so I would like for this part of the flower to stop right there and then so we'll just do, remember if you've seen my videos before, I've shown you the parentheses method with leaves and flowers or petals. So we're gonna do the parentheses method here. So you'll take that curve and from this point, we're gonna draw another curve. And just like a parentheses, it's gonna be the same shape as this side going to that side. So there's one part of our flower. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So you just take it and again, does not have to be perfect. I want mine to be somewhere near the same height as this one. So then here, I'm just going to make another parentheses right there, right in the middle. And then for the, right here, what we're gonna do, let's, like, let's find a point. We're gonna put a petal right here in the middle. So I'm gonna find this point here, bring that down. A curved line down curve that line right on down like so and then we're just gonna add a few more petals in the back and then we'll be all done with our flower and then here let's go there let's go there curve curve line from that point bring that other curve line down we're gonna do the same these two right over here in this space so right here is where around about where the other one was. We're just going to bring that up to that point and bring it on down. So it's basically you bring you take your line up to a point, stop, and then at that point you're going to bring it on down to to touch the rest of the the flower, the other petals. And just to now in some cactuses they are this large in some, I'm just gonna show you, you don't have to do what I'm doing. In some cactuses, they round about to make it more curved. So I'm just rounding this out some. I'm just gonna round it out some. And whenever you're using a marker 
or a colored pencil, something that you can't erase, it's perfectly fine if you have a line that you don't want anymore. You could just color it in like I did here. And when you add your markers or your colors, you can always go back over them. You can make that mistake something else. Like this here could, I can make that actually into a leaf or another flower on the side. You know, it doesn't have to be a mistake because there are no mistakes in art. Mistakes are our friends. You just turn it into something else. And so what we'll do now, we're just gonna draw a few lines. Cactuses have lines in them, right? So we're just gonna take a line right here in the middle. Let's take it on down. Take it on down, take it on down. And then we'll have another one here on the side that's in between these two. We're gonna take that on down as well. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna do the same thing here as we just did over here, right in the middle. And we're gonna take it on down. You'll curve it ever so slightly. And there's our cactus in our pot. Of course, everything always looks better once we add color. So we'll add color towards the end. And so we'll add a little face here. Let's make our pot cute. So right here, what we're going to do, we're, let's draw right here in the middle. Let's go ahead and draw our mouth. It'll be an open mouth smile. It's a happy cactus plant. And then all you gotta do is just draw another curve right here in the middle. And then for the eyes, let's draw just closed happy eyes. And we'll do something, we'll come, let's make them maybe right about here. Not directly in the middle, but a little far apart from each other. And we'll just go happy. Just one parenthesis and another parenthesis over on this side. It's a happy cactus. And if you want, you can add lashes. Um, you can add the lashes right here at towards the bottom because they're looking down with their eye. It's looking down with its eyes closed. And there's our happy cactus. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Please give it a like, share it with a friend who you think would enjoy it, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, friends.